I want all of you to imagine for a minute that it's the first day of school. Do you remember how you felt, the excitement when you got those brand new textbooks and your instructional materials? Now let's suppose you're a student that has, that's either blind or visually impaired or has some type of a physical disability and you can't hold the book or you have a learning disability that affects reading. And so you're not able to access those textbooks and other instructional materials the same way that your peers can. So instead of getting a textbook or other things on the first day of school, you got nothing. And you were told that you have to wait weeks, maybe even months, to get your materials. And so that excitement of the first day of school turns into disappointment and then to anxiety and maybe even frustration and you're worried that you're going to fall behind. And in fact, many do fall behind because of waiting for materials. For individuals with disabilities, um, the odds are against them. Uh, but it doesn't have to be that way. Unfortunately, the unemployment rate is two-thirds higher than their non-disabled peers. And for individuals with low-incidence disabilities, as such as legal blindness, the employment rate jumps up to 70%. And this is not the future that we see for our students at DCPS. DCPS is on a mission. And we're on a mission to provide a world-class set of services and supports to meet the unique needs of these students that have print disabilities. Our vision is that these students will receive textbooks and other core instructional materials in accessible formats at the same time as their classmates that don't have disabilities. And we envision that this is going to give these students more opportunities for integration with their non-disabled peers. Um, it's going to contribute to higher graduation rates. It's going to prepare more of our students for college entry. And ultimately, it's going to result in higher rates of employment, not unemployment. So we are really determined to help these students break their cycle of poverty and um, go on and achieve at the same rates as non-disabled peers. It's said that it takes a village. And to that end, our school system has been partnering with Rehabilitation Services Administration and the DC Public Library Adaptive Services to ensure more positive outcomes for these students, both while they're in school and then when they transition to post-secondary life. One key goal uh, to equipping our students is with the right assistive technology. Technology is a fundamental tool for our students to increase their independence and quality of life, all the while breaking the barriers uh, to access academic and employment opportunities. Bookshare is an example of a type of technology that will allow our students with disabilities to get immediate access to the curriculum with their assistive technology devices and participate in the general education setting. It's the type of technology, quite frankly, that our students need to take um, to help break those cycles of poverty and 